Hey money bags like me, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I call you money bag because I know that what we all do here is to go for the bag, go for the bag and live our best life. Hello, if today is your first time and you're just seeing my face, my name is Chisum and I help young Africans to maximize who they are and earn income from every, I'm about to say goddamn, every skill, experience and talent that they've got and use it to live their best lives. Does that even make sense? Yes, yeah, that's what I'm about on this channel. So today I'm going to be discussing about 15 soft skills that you need if you want to make money here on YouTube. Yes, on YouTube because Dana, that's where we are. That's, that's what I'm encouraging you to also come here. Now, what are soft skills? Somebody might ask. For me, they are just those intangible attributes of a person, someone's behavior, someone's way of getting around getting things done it has to do with all those attributes that helps you and i to accomplish the things we set out to do so a soft skill is intangible that you can't see it you can't but you can feel it you can experience it right while a hard skill is something you can see so it's, you know something visible like i'm i'm recording this video right now is a hard skill i have acquired on how to record videos i know exactly what to do you know lighting and all of those things so those are hard skills hard skills are also things like you know how to write a proper say business letter things like that but then soft skills are those skills that help you at the end of making your video I can connect with you like I'm talking right now so those are things that I'm going to be talking about in this video now first of all because we are business like on this channel right so let's get it straight out of the box making money on YouTube or on social media or even your regular business or making money from home is not a dash right it's not a sprint it's not something that oh i'm starting business today and i'm gonna be balling tomorrow no if you're that kind of person mm, business is not for you mm. you need to go to like you know maybe money doubling stuff i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't encourage you to do that but, but you get my drift business and making money is usually a marathon it's something that you have to put in process and then the process begins the ripple effect of that process begins to yield your desired return on investment or your profits so let's get down into soft skills these soft skills are things i have experienced in the over five years i've been on youtube and the last you know one and a half year that i have seriously taken this like a job yeah um like everything in life anything that you need to succeed at is going to test you it's going to be sure that you deserve to succeed in the field right so that's the same thing with youtube youtube is going to test you it's going to make sure that girl guy are you sure you're ready for this platform right because there are things to check that you are ready like the algorithm there are things to check that you are good like the audience who are going to be detecting what they want or what they need by the kind of by the acceptability of your videos right so one of the top soft skills i think you must have if you if you want to do and succeed and make money from youtube is number one you have to be creatively inclined you have to have critical creative thinking you can't be somebody who just like to do things the same way the same always the same way all the time and you want to succeed on youtube people are going to get bored people are, might not even find your video because you're not bringing in the juice you know what i mean so creative thinking is key you must be somebody who likes to you know try new things you must be somebody who likes to improve on something that's already been done and do it better you must be something that we get that easily gets a light bulb and want to experience or rather want to execute it right creativity is unlimited is the attribute of god right is the creation spirit is the spirit to want to is the spirit that tells you when to put a camera on something and when not right it is the spirit that tells you oh this is a good thing to record you know that kicks in you know that tells you oh you know can put the color this way put that that way you know uh, make your transitions this way i mean it's a lot of things you know so creativity is really 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 key if you're someone that have what i call the civil service mentality uh, being doing youtube might be very tasking for you right so you must put on your creative app rather to be able to do youtube successfully so i'm going to rush through the next 14 so that we don't make this video so long okay the next soft skill i think you must have if you want to succeed and make money on youtube is that you must have what i call delayed gratification 
remember i said it's a marathon so you can't set up oh i'll put three videos i'll put on one video i'll put one smashing video i put the right highlights and you think that the money will keep rushing i have i remember my active blogging days you know i've been a blogger for 13 years before now and people ask me okay so this is your posting how are you making money from there like as you posted it now where are you going to cash out the money like literally like a blog is like an ATM. It made, it made me laugh a lot then and it still makes me laugh now when people say okay so this video you're doing how you know after you post it now when are you going to collect the money you know what do you do to get the money i heard that they pay you you know all of those things <laughs> okay so you have to make sure that you understand the law of sewing and reaping so you're going to invest upfront and let your videos work let it be accepted let them get let them let it get views before somebody can want to put a money on your channel and say oh okay i see what you're doing please can you talk about our brand you see what i mean before somebody can say before even youtube can say oh welcome to our youtube partner program you know what i mean you need to get the view so you need to be sure that you have been able to crack what your audience need and that takes a lot of a bit of time you know, a lot of time some people do it in three days some people do it in one month some people do it in one year some people do it in 10 years so it's not a sprint the third sub skill i think you must have if you want to succeed on youtube is that resilience resilience the ability to turn around a bad situation fast the, the ability to look at something and say, oh, this can't keep me down for a long time because trust me, you're going to invest so much in some videos and you'll be looking at the viewership count like this. What is happening? Day one, day 10, day 365 days. And I'm serious, one year, the video just has 14 views. Mm, yes, if you don't have resilience, that might be your last video. You just pack up, pack up shop. But here we don't pack up, you know, and that's why I'm telling you this. So you must learn how to jumpstart and say, okay, maybe this channel, maybe the way I crafted the title, maybe the thumbnail, maybe I should tweak one or two things, or maybe this is not the topic. Maybe I didn't research the topic properly. I think I need to go back to see how people who have done this kind of topic or topic area crafted their titles. You must have that resilience, that positive attribute in spite of what's happening. Number four. If you're somebody that is stuck up on yourself, you've grown up, you've grown up and yet you're still, you know, you don't know how to cut yourself some slack. You're always uptight about yourself, trying to make sure you do things right. You want to please people. You don't want people to say you have done something wrong. You can't do YouTube because it means that you can't even face the camera. You'll be so self-conscious, you won't upload the first video. So you must have a healthy self-awareness. You must have healthy self-esteem to be able to do YouTube. I mean, I know people who um, who video is like, they can dash you one million naira or one million dollars instead of them to put their face forward on, you, on, on the camera. So if you're somebody who is still not at the place where you know that you are enough, you are a big deal, you can, you know, the world is waiting for you. You can't do YouTube. Mm. Those things, in, those voices in your head will be telling you, you not fine. Oh, they will think you're this. You'll think you're, they will think you won this club before. You've won this club before. Oh, your hair doesn't look good. Oh, your English is not so smooth. Your Spanish is not so good. Your house is not brisk. You, you know, you're not, you're not speaking phonetics. Those things will make you, you will not be able to do video. So you have to have healthy self-awareness and self-esteem to be able to come on YouTube. The next soft skill you need badly, badly, is that you must have business sense. If you don't have business sense, you think you're just doing video and uploading it all, you'll be so disappointed. You must be able to know what every video you put, the potentials they hold, how they can make you money now and in the long term. You must be able to think through the business of it. Why should I do this title? Is there a brand or a person or, you know, is it going to garner some sort of interest that will yield me money in the long term? You must learn how it works. And I'm going to do a total new video on the business of YouTube, right? So watch out for that video. But for now, I'm just teaching you soft skills that I think that I needed to imbibe to be able to even be still here, okay? So business sense is key. How does your input bring out an output that you know pays for your return of investment now or in the future it must be clear 
it must be clear why you are on YouTube. You must know whether you are here to create more leads, meaning that you get more people who are interested in your personality or your business, or you're here to sell the product you already have, or you're here to sell your personality, or you're here to, maybe you're looking at politics in your in your country and you are using it to become popular to be seen and known to mentor people to whatever it is that you want to do you must have a strategy business strategy behind your videos hmm. i don't know why i'm stressing this one too much but you know you know why the next top skill i think you need badly is leadership self-leadership and timeliness i can't even say this enough even before i came to do this video i know i had to drag myself i have to do this because the process of even creating one video is a lot it's a full job i was just discussing with my husband and saying this is a full job like for god's sake to set up to script set up deliver your video it's a whole job right and that's why Okay, anyway, I'll come to that point of, you know, why it has to be of your full job at some point, right? So, self-leadership, if you don't lead yourself, I know sometimes it can be hard. It can be hard to push yourself out of bed. It can be hard to, you know, maximize the daylighting to record. It can be hard to, it might just be when you have enough lighting, that's when your body is, just wants to rest. You just want to flip through social media. You just want to have a meal. You just want to go out, right? You might even be a vlogger and then it is when you really need to capture some things that you're lost in the moment and then you didn't capture that moment and you're like, oh my gosh, what should I do? What should I do? So you have to consciously lead yourself and timeliness is key. You can't keep your audience waiting for two weeks, one month. There's no more content. Just like a performer, just like a music artist you know or the actors you know, they, are, they never do one film and then disappear. They won't be stars if they just did one movie and we didn't see them, for God's sake. Do you know what I mean? You have to show up. You have to show up and show out and that's what I me mean. I'm trying to do all the time okay right another soft skill that you really 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 need is critical thinking you must be able to you know look at yourself critically look at what your your process is like critically without self dampening yourself or overestimating your yourself right you must be able to look at what other people are doing realistically you have to be objective you have to know how to you know at what point should you change a strategy do you you know you just have to be forward thinking about what it is that you're doing right so you're not just i'm doing this i'm doing this and i see a lot of people use youtube as an archive so they come and upload a video maybe they went to speak they just come and you know put the video up there and then they disappear for seven months you didn't see them again when is a major event that had video they come and upload it they've done a wedding they come and upload it and then they run off you can't use video as an archive youtube as an archive i want to make income you can't mm, you can't okay another critical soft skill that you need you know i mean this one is a, a no-brainer you must have public speaking skills you must be able to face people and in this case you're just facing your camera at the end of the day you're only facing your camera so you know so why well, it should be easier mm -hmm. public speaking skills because you must be able to know how to get people to be attracted to you and listen to you, you know how you're listening to me right now and it's you know something in you just connects with me you know you feel like you know me you know that kind of thing because i bring the juice i bring the vibe you feel like oh i know this she's some i feel like she's my friend already that's the you know it comes with different years of practice and youtube is a good place to start practicing to talk to the public right yeah the next soft skill you need badly badly if you want to succeed on youtube is sales skills you don't know how to sell in fact I should have this should have been number one but this is for me is the mother of them all you have to know how to pitch what it is that you're selling without you know rebuffing your your prospective customer with the with an excitement that will make the person want to save up to patronize you you must know how to sell you must know how to persuade neg negotiate you must know how to you know um, get people to see the benefits of your product and it's not about specification it's not about saying oh oh my youtube channel has is five minutes long you it to take your time please go watch it nobody is looking for a five minute video to watch but if that five minute video is going to teach them like you're learning here how to set up or how or the soft skills that they need to succeed which could be something that they would have been bothering them then even if it's 20 minutes they won't mind sell benefits I'm selling the benefits of who I am and why I'm doing this channel to you 
through all my content every day, right? Sales skills is a given and in any industry in any place and if you have sales skills you can get a job anywhere you can work anywhere you can succeed at your business anywhere they drop you sales skills must have is a must have the next soft skill is intrapersonal skills the way you communicate to yourself the way you value yourself it is the things you tell yourself that will make you sit down and do another video mm -hmm. So you must have a healthy, it's almost close to self-esteem, but this is more like, you know, you in relationship with yourself. You know, there are a lot of people who are not kind to themselves, for instance. So they prefer other people, they'll go all out for their friends and their family. But when it comes to them, they are crit negatively critical to themselves. They don't believe that whatever they do is good. One of the things I had to learn early on YouTube was that, see, Nobody does it like me. Nobody says it like me. Nobody looks like me. Nobody is me. So even when I think that something, a video is not so, it's not like the last one. It didn't really, I, I was not animated enough. I tell myself, put it out there. And it shocks me all the time when people make, those are, that has even the video that people will like more. So sometimes because of your mood and hormones and all kinds of things, you downgrade yourself. Your ability to, to know that I'm too much. Is it not me again? That, that what I used to tell myself, it, it's not me. Even if I don't have a script, I can go and talk for one hour on YouTube. And then I tell myself, post it, it's good. Later on, I begin to watch that video and I'm like, gosh, girl, you nailed it. How come I didn't see it at that time? It can be a mix of different things that were going on in your mind at that time. So a healthy intrapersonal skill is so, so, so key. So make sure that you love yourself enough to say, I'm my own star. See, if you, do, if you know how much I, I watch my videos, you'll be shocked. You'll be like, are you not the one that did it? Why are you watching it? <laughs> I like myself too much because I talk to myself. See, even before I started this channel, I spoke it into existence. I desired it. I set it up. I knew exactly what I was looking for. I knew who I was doing videos for. I knew you even before you came here. Do you understand? It, came, it comes from that power of intrapersonal skill, self-awareness, right? The next key soft skill I think you really, really need is non-verbal communication. You see what I'm doing with my hands, my eyes, my everything? You are reading beyond what I'm saying, right? So I'm able to manage my body movements. I'm not, I'm not looking a bit, I'm not slouching. I'm not sitting in one place looking scared. I'm not giving you the vibe that I'm not sure what I'm saying. In um, non-verbal communication is so so key. In fact, I think by research, I think non-verbal communication makes up seventy percent of communication in a whole. So sometimes you're talking to somebody, you're saying something, but the person is reading what you're not saying. You know, from your gesticulation, your eye contact, you know, all of those things are important. And see, if there's a place you want to learn these things, YouTube is a great place for you to start. I don't know why I keep preaching about YouTube. Hey, YouTube CEO needs to come and see me. <laughs> oh my. The next skill you need badly if you want to earn money on YouTube is that you must understand how to solve problems. In fact, if you're a beginner just like me, the first set of videos you should actually do is looking out for questions people are asking in your, part, in your particular niche or in your area of expertise and begin to answer them using your videos. That's why I used to ask you guys are like, let me know in the comment section what where are you having challenges where do you need me to do videos right so i do that intentionally so you must know how to solve problems now i have a couple of, i have a video that i did i was supposed to give 11 points <laughs> i was supposed to give 11 points after the 10 points i forgot the level i did for okay let me say i forgot 11 I, I forgot that i haven't done 11 to 1 so i was done with the video i wrapped up while I was editing, I discovered that, oh, these points are 10, not 11. Then I looked, oh, my 11 point wasn't there. Do you know what I did? I had to incorporate my 11 points in between my 10th and, and my outro. My outro meaning the ending part of my video. You know, in writing, that's some problem solving skills right there. Because at the end of the day, it's not about, oh, I can't post this video anymore. How am I going to start recording again? You bash yourself. Mm -mm. There's always a way around it. So my viewers who actually are looking at, at the screen will not will see it, will see it and say, oh okay, there's a level point. I got it. I got it. If somebody is playing my video on audio mode, maybe doing something else, may miss it. And part of what I've done also because of my problem solving skill is to 
put that point as something I, I would do in another video. You know, some people also always feel like, oh, I've said this point in a video, I shouldn't say it again. No, the person who watched this video didn't watch that video, may not have watched that video. You know, so all those things are sparks of problem solving skills that you need to imbibe. Know that you, you know, there's always something, there's always a way around things, right? You need that on YouTube so that you don't slow your pace down or begin to redo videos that are actually okay, that people may not even notice the mistake that you are pitching yourself about. You know, and that's just an example. And there are different ways that problems might arise on your journey. And, you know, you should be able to think on your feet about what exactly to do right another soft skill i think you really need is listening listening skill and on on youtube here is it's called social listening you must be able to listen to those in your industry those doing the kind of things you're doing where is the trend is there a, a, are there certain kind of videos that are working for them right now because maybe the year is rounding off so they can cash into it what are they saying about certain gadgets or certain editing apps or certain you know trends What's happening in the other parts of the world in that sector? If it's in the money sector, what's happening in America? What's happening in Canada? What's happening in Australia? What's happening in downtown? What's happening in Africa? What's happening in Kenya? Right? So that you understand how to, you know, carry your audience along because you are listening actively. Do you understand? To the things happening in your industry, to the news around your industry. Right? Very, very, very key. Yes. Another critical skill you need is personal development now people always mix this up with you know um you know hyping yourself self-awareness and all that though no, it's not you must be somebody who is willing to invest in yourself every day like i learn on the go the amount of information that i consume and i learn from every day for me myself is mind-boggling and let me even tell you, when I had malaria recently, my head was overworking. I was lying down tired, but my brain was working in micro bits of seconds, dissecting issues. I knew that that was exactly how my brain had been working. The only, the only reason is that sickness had come. I know like a sickness like malaria, it comes and it amplifies everything. So I knew that, man, girl, you need to slow down on certain things, you know. My brain is constantly working. I'm constantly reading. I read even children's texts like you know novels for youngsters for teenagers i read i finished one yesterday on the spot like an hour that I to. so i learn every day in my industry i have researched i have worked i have tried things out and it comes from a deep-seated curiosity to know and be better you have to be someone that invests in yourself and give yourself that gift of personal development personal development also goes with you know watching things that are in line with what you're interested about right yes i'm not saying that you cannot relax you know watch other things but you must be able to know get to know best practices area of expertise in your area of interest right you must know what's happening you must know right you can't see like a pregnant woman rarely would you see a pregnant woman not researching and knowing oh, what should i do in my first trimester that that kind of information grabbing that comes with fear and anxiety <laughs> it should also come with curiosity to want to know better and because you want to give value Personal development is key. And personal development goes beyond even reading. It also goes with, you know, adopting healthy habits, productivity habits, you know, that will help you stay afloat and do what you're currently doing for the long term. Another skill I think you really need is teamwork. You know, I was just imagining my space and I'm like, I could convert this whole apartment to just my YouTube video company where I have editors, everything. I'm not quite there yet, right? So I just envisioned it and it gave me so much joy, right? So you must, beyond then, you must be able to learn to teamwork. Sometimes it is me bantering with my husband that I get titles. He's able to give me points. He's able to give me, you must be able to learn to work with other people. I'm constantly looking at what other people are doing, constantly, you know, outsourcing where I need to even, right? And those are things that make you uh, steps ahead and we, I'm getting to the point where I, I'm going to assess a lot more things so that I focus on the core which is giving you value right so like I need to you know get myself away from editing I do everything by myself by the way so for those of you that have been asking oh I don't know how to use my phone to edit I don't know what to do about this um, I don't know how to edit all of those things keep watching this channel I'm going to show you how I do the things I do and why you shouldn't be waiting you shouldn't be waiting if you know this is for you then jump in right now if you watch me you know that I'm very progressive about you know getting young black people Africans to in you know, the level of on their income so that they can have choices and they can help other people so that we can lift Africa out of poverty 
right? It is there even when I'm not saying it. I'll bring more skills if you want. What did you think about this? Which of these made you rethink or made you feel like, ah, yeah, yeah, I think so, I think so. Hmm? So let me know in the comment section and then I'll get to you in a bit in another video. All right, bye.